kind gesture. Thank you, Darpal. And it does, it does make me want, if I want to rant about Battle Brothers, and I don't mind, like, I don't say a lot of negative things about Battle Brothers, I think the game is excellent. If I were to pick up on some of the things that I think are not so good about Battle Brothers, I would think that a lot of the perks are trap perks or perks that aren't very good. And a lot of people seem to want to believe that all the perks are equally good and can be used on builds. And you can certainly make bad builds using perks that you wouldn't normally use. And I love diverse builds. I love finding new builds that do something. But you're, if you're ever playing a game where you're trying to do that game well, one of the first questions you have to ask yourself is, is this any good? What is the point of doing this? Is what I'm going to be doing better than what I'm already doing? And if the answer is no, it's not any better than what I'm doing already, or the answer is there's not really a point with this brother, his his role is totally obsoleted, his, his role is totally um, duplicated by somebody else who does it better, then yeah, you're, you're just, you can play with those things. That's up to you if you want to have fun that way, but it's it's a worse build. So like, like I've got people in there being like, ah, oh, filthy, you never use overwhelm or reach advantage. Yeah, you know why I don't use overwhelm? Because 99% of the time I don't want to go first, particularly in the early rounds. And then the other 1% of the time when I do want to go first, my opponents always have higher initiative than me. So what do I get from overwhelm? Very rarely is it useful. Additionally, I'm always outnumbered, which makes Overwhelm much less exciting because I can't like take a big heavy threat and focus it down because I'm almost always outnumbered and I have to kill shit faster than that. Like reach advantage. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not gonna go down the perk list. I've already done the I've already done the perk guides, but it does sometimes amuse me. Like amuse is the wrong word. Sometimes I'm like, oh my god, chat, like I get it. You want nine lives to be good, but nine lives isn't good. So Okay. Uh let's see. What is this one? What is this? this area like this is a pretty big area is the wilderness to the west i guess it's to the west yeah what about nets and dogs i mean i guess nets and dogs are a viable build uh and thank you darple uh let me add you in Uh, it's pretty sick. So I'm a bit worried about the north. This is a barracks citadel, a workshop citadel, and another workshop citadel. That's so OP. Uh, all right, so we're we're not gonna find a whole lot of northern spawns. But we will get some. We should make friends with that town. That town's going to be raided all the time is the issue. You never get the trade goods out of it. But it does have two very good trade goods, right? Oh, no. It's this one. Just one trade good. I thought that was a gem mine. That's another workshop citadel. All right, it's pretty good. All right, I could start on this, I think. I think this would be pretty good. Brothers are sweet. The archer doesn't have a lot of ranged attack. I'm it, it's a little disappointing with this hunter because this hunter, no, 57. It's not, it's not the one I thought it was. Okay. It's not the 52 one. Yeah. All right, it's fine. We're determined. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, all right, so let me get my first round of brothers before we name people. Where are we going? We could go south here. South is better than north for leveling. These are all like going to be like spider missions in fucking forest. We can't get missions there. All right, Previat. I've answered you twice in chat. The calculations are all on a spreadsheet. They're all there. You can look at them to your heart's content. So no, I can't share them. They're already shared. You'd have to find the child who gave me the numbers in the first place if you want to get the answers. Or you could look at the thing that actually has them listed there. I don't know how to answer that better than that. 
What else do you want from me, friend? Alright, let's head let's head south and try to get people. There is this sick dog and it was running in circles. And I was counting the number of times it ran in circles before it fell down, and that's the basis of most of my damage calculations. Oh god, we gotta look at this thief. We gotta hire him. But the formulas are in the sheet already. They're already there. You can look at them anytime you want. Just go click on the sheet and read it. What else do you want from me? No. Oh, man. All right. Let's hire some brothers. This guy has no gear. 229 tools and 350. Oh my god, this town is gonna be amazing. Oh man, this seed looks so OP. I'm so excited about this seed. Okay. Is there is there more to your question that I'm not understanding, Previate? can't put numbers in. Ah, I see. This is another reading failure. So, uh, on the Battle Brothers sheets. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this on stream. I'm ready for you. Alright, you ready? See this? Right here? It's bold. Maybe it is. No, it is bold. It is underlined. It's at the top. See where it says enter values for these cells only? You should enter cells for these cells only. And if you have never used a, a Google spreadsheet before, you can't enter values into my spreadsheet because it's my fucking spreadsheet. The way you get one is you go to file. I think it's file. Make a copy. That's how you get your own. And then you can edit all the numbers to your heart's content. Although I still only recommending the ones that are built to be edited. The rest of them are fixed numbers that are just calculations. So you can see all the stuff so you can duplicate it or change it as you want. All right. Hopefully that answered these questions. Not file tab. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to the game now. Uh, let's grab a let's grab this thief. Well, let's grab a miner. Dude, this guy's got a hat and a club. Oh no, it's so close! I thought I saw triple melee defense. It's triple range defense. Yeah. We paid 400 in a thief who we're not very excited about. My vulnerable sanity. Probably make money off these, right? I don't know that all these people will be returning from this fight. So maybe we want a couple more bodies. Or rather, I do know that all these people won't be returning from this fight. Alright. What do we have? Yeah, that thief rolled like shit, didn't he? Did you all want weapons? Why did I start with a spear on this guy? Fuck yeah, I start with a spear on that guy and a knife? Let's see this OP, dude. Okay. What do we get on this guy? We got a loyal optimist with 56 melee skill and 5 melee defense and stars in the right position and stars in range skill. This is the best miner I've ever seen. Well, not really. You get the idea. He's not a bad miner. As miners go. Mine's like a champ. Yeah. All right. So we want the thief to die. And. Oh, God. We only have three weapons. 
This is awkward. Okay. We want the miner to live. And we have three determined archers. <laughs> oh man. It's like I'd say it's like cheating, but I think it actually is cheating. I'm not sure like suitably actually mentions what's going on here. Yeah. yeah I want someone to buy it just dismiss them. What? What? There's so much wrong with that statement. This is a game about using your resources. Dying is a resource. Do you know what he does as he dies? He tanks like two or three hits? Maybe four hits? He holds a position? He prevents their movement? No. Dying is is his sole purpose in life, and we appreciate it. Didn't helm my spear guy. Uh, good call, thank you. Okay. All right, we're gonna name people after this. Get there before night! I don't know if that's before night or not. I think it's before night. Perfect. All right. We should do the hit and run tactic here since we don't have any weapons and they do. I mean, they don't have a lot of weapons. They've got four wooden clubs. I mean, okay, sure. But we're still gonna back up, back up to there. We gotta bring the pain. Look, we're all <laughs> we're all confident. <gasps> oh, that's cheating. Cheating. That's cheating. I'm gonna report you to Reddit. Okay. Fighting <laughs> a baseball team. <laughs> Good comment. Got chuckles. All right. Swords down, he's the most dangerous. The cleaver is the second most dangerous here. A generous bestowal. I think we're going to keep backing up. Thank you, Six Sock. I'll add you to the list. Uh, can I show you how to make a PowerPoint? Uh, again, we got to find that child, the one who, in who instructs me on all things internet related. It was just the one time. I recorded his words, but. I've since lost them. I've since had them translated into another language and translated back using only Google Translate. Um, and I take that as the written word of our Lord. And mostly make all guide videos based on that. Where did you come from? Fucking cheat. All right. Should name them. See which ones I like. I think that's the thief, right? Maybe I do want to be there. Go. Okay. Oh, get slingered. That's confidence. That's what confidence does for you. Does it matter what you're called in the sheet, Xanabu? As long as I call your characters Sister Xanabu? Sister Nobu? Thief tank to hit, right? Doing work. I want the 35 armor. Let's hold on. <laughs> Confidence, what can't it do?
stunned us. Guy, can we get this thief killed? Maybe. Oh, so close. Ah, that dagger's not gonna do enough damage. Maybe we could slinger him to the fast. Ah, slinger's not gonna do enough damage. I'm not letting him go. Uh, I might be letting him go. His gear is so good for us. A kind gesture. It's powerful gear. Just move through the bush? Cheater. Thank you, Sigtro. Trade you for some 115 gear? We'll do. Maybe even some 70 gear. If we see it. Keep waiting for him to kill this guy, but he's using a wooden club, so it's gonna take a long time. A gleaming endowment. Biggie white chocolate! Oh my goodness. Any plans for God? Any plans for God? Yeah, so um, the final episode of Game of Thrones is tonight. Uh, what are my plans for it? I've watched the entire series with my wife. Every single episode we've seen together as it's come out. Not always on the day it's come out, but you know, we've watched the entire series together. She's leaving town tonight. So I won't see her for the final episode. So I'll be watching on my own, cuddling with whiskey. Like the, I get the big bottles of whiskey. It would just be me and whiskey on the couch snuggled. That's the plan. That's the plan. Whiskey body pillow, correct. What? I didn't mean to do that. I think I skipped too many people. We could panic this guy. That would be reasonable. He's only got a fucking wooden club. I know what happens though. If I walk over there, he's gonna headshot my team. Got him. Never in doubt. All right, let's get this guy's armor. Taking a lot of effort to get these 35 armors, but we care. Okay. Run them down. Away the disappointment. It's not been my favorite se season either. But I am curious what they're gonna do at the end of it. Oh, I should have moved you. It's fine. We did it. We got one of the 35s, the 40 hat, another dagger, a sword. It's like Christmas. Sarcasm Sunday in the title. I thought sarcasm was all day, every day. All right, let's take a look. Uh, Sigtro. Uh, add it. For that. And my chocolate add it. So the next two videos, there's a video, should be a video coming out today, uh, just reviewing the uh, DLC as a whole. Fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Thank you, Papa Petro. And I should have the, I don't know how I'm breaking this down yet, because I'm going to do a review of every single fight in the game for you guys. I'm going to talk through how I approach every single fight in the game. Um, I'm going to mostly post this to Reddit and ask for 100% agreement from the comment sections and get very sad if it doesn't happen. But uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to break this down yet. I think I'm going to break it down. Depends on the length. I think I'm going to break it down by types of enemy. Like, um, uh, what are they? Beasts, humanoids, barbarians, undead, green skins, etc. I think. And then legendary locations. So I think it's going to end up probably being about a series of about six videos. Probably 35 to 50 minute videos. And that should have all of the breakdowns for everything. Uh, which I think will be useful to you guys. Because I, 
I think the last set we had up there are just like clips of the VODs with no no discussion of it. And they were kind of a stopgap measure to do something to get the information out there, but not a particularly well done something. So. All right, uh, what do we have here? Well, we just finished the mission. Everybody survived. The good news is this, everybody survived. The bad news is this, everybody survived. So, I guess we up our gear. Got a 35 in the front there. All right, it's time to assign names. I said that the, the first fight is a freebie. Everybody gets to live. Nobody has to die. But after that, we shall see. All right, let's take a look. That's an upgrade, huh? Whoa, I've been doing it wrong. I thought I was protecting the hunter. I've been protecting some random fucking poacher. Who will name right now? That's the random fucking poacher. Who is it? Click the roll. Welcome, fatty badger pants. Okay. Let's take a look at the next archer. This is... Morax. Okay. And next up, the last archer. Click to roll. Manalo D. Okay. Yeah, do you guys like three confident archers? I mean, luck of the draw, streamer luck, I guess. Cheating? Probably cheating. All right, let's roll on the less desirable characters, starting with the thief, whose one goal in life is to die as soon as humanly possible. Who might this dedicated battle brother, long-term supporter of the channel probably, loving viewer, kind Reddit poster be? White chocolate, here he is, the man of the hour. All right. An eleven percent roll to be that thief. <laughs> All right, next up, Will Reach. This is Orange. Okay. A lot of things we can do with this brother. I think it's early front line though. Decent front line, even. Nice starting stats. Okay. Next up is this man. This is a team player apprentice with no stats of note. And the highest bidder is Lullaways. Welcome Lullaways, you have won. This exciting, exciting man. Exciting. Mm. Team player. All right. Why a semicolon? Ah, eh, why not? Let's put a semicolon in there. Okay. And last but not least, Darple. I mean, it's early front line. This is fine. Uh, you vote that if you get chosen for cannon fodder, every character you uses for cannon fodder gets to be the same person. It's an interesting idea. I don't know how to do that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. How are the starting brothers? Um, 
Well, I mean, this was a just we just took the first seed offered to us. Uh, turns out that uh, we've got a poacher with determined and hate for green skins, but he didn't roll max. I mean, between 47 and 49, he's just a mid range poacher for accuracy. Um, we got a hunter, also didn't roll max, unfortunately. Uh, determined and optimist, you know, whatever. And then uh, another poacher, 47 min roll here, which is a little bit unexciting, a little bit unfortunate. Uh, determined and bleeder. So, really, just kind of. Really mediocre starting brothers, what I'm getting at. Nothing to see here. Just move along, chat. Move along. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's grab some trade goods. Where are we going? Do I have enough? I can buy all the trade goods. I want to buy all the trade goods. This town is great, by the way. How do we do that? It's a fair point. Like. Getting picked as fodder. I mean, but there's a lot of fodder in the game, so it's, I don't know. I don't know. It does seem weird that the people who donate the most get the most penalized. And they, well, I mean, only at the early game, I guess, but still. Is there a Citadel over there? It's not a Citadel. Yeah, it's a bad, bad brother's challenge, that's right. <laughs> I want these trade goods, chat. I'm gonna buy them. It's better than buying brothers, right? Let's buy them all. Let's buy the trade goods. Probably all we can realistically spend on that right now. Go. Okay. Tid sells. Yeah, I did roll the archers first to give maximum chance. Alright, uh triple double miners and a squire marketplace is 202 tools again. The seed looks incredible. I mean I could just immediately sell the trade good for two dollars profit. Seems not what we want to be doing. Is it worth you accept your offer? Oh, this should have been a, um, a negotiate, by the way. But it's tough when I have a place that starts with 202 tools to want to negotiate. I just want to be like, give me that sweet fucking setup. Uh, D7. Okay. Would be nice to find a camp in the very, very early days before it updates for getting worse. All right. A resplendent offering. Add white chocolate for a second fodder round. Add white chocolate for second fodder round. Can't argue with that, Mora. Thank you very much for the $50 donation. Oops, I almost added you again. All right. Okay. Let's let them come closer. Uh, there are some weapons we're interested in here. The Spedum is okay in the very, very early game. Uh, and we'd like that sword. Okay. <laughs> Mostly I don't want to take a shitty shot though. It's not a Spedum, it's a Gundang. Are we sure about that? Is the Spedum like the tier 2 version or something? Maybe you're right. You could be right, Sully. Whatever it is, we want the fucking sharp spear. We want this, we want the stick with the pointy bit on it. Does that help clarify? Does that make it clearer? What's going on? Why does he still have a turn? Yeah, that's right, stay there. Actually engaged. Well, he probably will. This is probably okay to take it from here. 
A renewal. Welcome back. Cheers for the great content. Thank you, Vicky D. Any cheesy strat to kill stupid tracker? Kraken. Um, no. Kraken's a melee attack check. I don't want a spear wall there. It's, this is this is very tough not to want to accept this bait, but it is wrong to take more than one shot there. Issue we're gonna have is where does that guy go? He's assaulted the spear wall. The bastard. Let's chuck some rocks at his head. I was gonna say it was wrong. A resplendent offering. <laughs> Way chocolate with the fifty dollars donation back. to the fodder list as well. All right, I'll get you both back in there. White chocolate donating for Mora and Mora donating for white chocolate. It's very sweet. This is community. Thank you both guys for the support and the hilarity of the way you're supporting. What are you doing with this archer? Shooting this guy probably. How do I feel about my front line being engaged like this? Not great. See where that guy goes before we go. I'd love to take that high ground. Probably end up there instead. Oh, there's a guy standing next to me. Yeah. Don't move when there's a guy standing next to you. That'd be stupid. Fuck. Where do we get a shot here? I guess just there. Fatty Badger Pants is not in a good spot if, uh, if shit hits the fan with white chocolate over there. Get him! Ah, fuck. Still alive. I don't want his gear. Can we maybe trade him? Can we trade white chocolate for a forty uh, a forty dollar? No, no, no. For a forty durability helm. Probably. Give him a give him a chance. Good man. Good man. Now it's simple. What we have to do here is we have to just break him. Really dubious about putting the guy with zero headgear next to him. Let's get in position to do that later. I mean, someone, uh, someone donated earlier requesting to be traded for a 115 mil. 115 is uh, it's quite a long ways away in the game. This is We traded him for a 40 home. Oh, thank God. All right. Look, six level ups too. His, his sacrifice was not in vain. Didn't get the 40 helm though. Sacrifice was in vain. Well, he's not alive to know that his sacrifice is in vain. He probably died thinking his sacrifice was not in vain. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. 
Give uh, some bubbles here. Nice. Decent front. Is anything a decent front at this level? <laughs> Thanks, boy, chocolate. All right, let's take a lot of ways here. Ooh, good rolls, good rolls. This is definitely a Colossus build. Okay. Darful. Palatable rolls. Manalo. Yes, very good. Mora. Yes, very good. Eh, still good. Still good. No panic. Okay, Fatty Badger Pants. Not bad. This is a min roll here. I think I'd rather take this roll. This is always going to roll at least three with the star. So I might as well take the three here. And what are we going to do about Orange? Do I believe that a, a miner of mediocre stats, not bad, but not great stats, is going to live for long with no armor? Nope. Uh, he'll also end up nimble, so Colossus is actually not a wasted perk here either, because he'll end up nimble with that build, because he doesn't have any stamina. All right, we should switch to swords so we can hit things. Throw daggers in inventory. We have a, an upgraded helm here. Get some hats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Taking the good hats. It's not fair. No, not you. Okay. All right, we need some teammates. All right, what do we have? 260 for my fucking miners. They have so little to start with. Where are we going, chat? We'd love to find like a super tiny zombie camp right now. It would be amazing. Do we want to scout our round? We want to head west anyways. This looks like a pretty decent location for missions. There's a citadel we could sell the salt to. Do we want to swing through here as well? There's a winery. Militia barracks, die maker. You know, it's super common guru. Wheat fields for farm hands. We just came from there. Is there more wheat fields over that way? There are. All right, sure, let's head that way. I'm hoping to find something over here in the early days before uh, the camp difficulty goes up. Cutting me off right now. It's unlikely we handle six of those for shit right now. Why are they able to catch me? We're the same size and I'm a band of poachers. Isn't my whole like thing like I get to go faster than them? <sighs> We're not fighting this at night. Are we? We need to make the decision if we're leaving now. I don't think there's any way we want to take that at night. And they're baiting me too. There's probably th two big ones with that.
No, it wasn't. It was just six little ones. Well, we might kill six little ones. Daybreak. Why does it show a medium-sized one? It might not actually be. I don't know if we can actually handle six little ones. It's daybreak now. Do we try it? Probably. What? Treated from battle. Can only have steady morale or worse. Terrible. Terrible. How about now? Still? Get over it, guys. So we spent two days looking for a camp. Didn't find shit. It's disappointing. All right. What do we have? Farmhand hired. Uh, mission. Green at 49. Uh, deliver. Data the southwest. 290. It's got to be there, right? I kind of want to go that way anyways. I think that's okay. Running from six scrubs feels bad. All right, what do we get? Loyal triple range skill. <laughs> Welcome, white chocolate. He's back. Oh my god, it does all these... Oh my, they, the Zoran keeps updating the spreadsheet. Now it's like crazy, like lights up and... He's back. What are we going to do about that? It is a little disappointing. On the roster already? Oh, I know what the I know what the, the red lighting up is, but he died. It's just I haven't updated it. I was excited to see it light up and just warning me that he's already on the roster. You like it to be dark chocolate? Sure. Oh, but you spell it like that for some reason. Okay. I'll give this man a club and a shield. We give him a hat. I don't even know. Hats are. I guess. All right. We'll accept the mission. <laughs> that's it for closers, that's right. Dude, they're running from us. Get them! I'm sure it'll be four big ones this time. Generous bestowal. Thank you, Shaw. Today's a good day to die, indeed. I'll add you in the list. All right. We're confident again. God, you can see the power of confidence right there. We believe. Oh yes. <sighs> Too much belief. Maybe well, they're waiting. Actually, fairly good for us if they wait there. Got him in the head. God, these panic checks. Four movements, four panic check fails. That's absurd. They weren't confident, chat. Give 
Good man. Team player. Got the horns. So no sign of raiders yet. It's a little disappointing. They've been raided, there's a monk. Dolman for nine ten. That's definitely gonna trigger raiders. Fuck is Dolman. Not bad pathing though. Like straight through all the towns. Quite a bit of money for us right now. It's probably good enough. Uh, let's take a look at what they're buying at A and B. Monk. Just hire the fisherman. We need front line. It's fine. All right. It is Shawl, the fisherman. All right. We're gonna take this. Not super excited by this news, but all right. It's a lot of money for us right now. Need to find some raiders. Uh, I don't know what this one is. What's the wildman at cage event? Don't isn't the only way you get this is if you have a wildman. And otherwise, don't you lose an eyeball? Fuck, we don't have a wild or a monk. No. I don't have a monk. We tried him out, we didn't hire him. I don't wanna lose an eye. We have three fucking archers. Screw that. Ain't our problem. I'd love to get a free wildman. But I'm only doing it if I have one. So we don't have a monk, don't have a wildman. Seems bad. You know chat? Not the greatest. We have three archers. You wanna risk an eye? A marksman? Oh god. Run ends here, just so we're clear. Alright. Oh, we've got caravan hands. Maybe it doesn't. One fifteen mail, ninety, ninety-five. I think that's can't see those. Those might be double nineties, it might be one fifteen, ninety. 
This is uh, gonna be a tough fight. Not every battle can be won, sure, but at some point you just go, you need to win this battle or you just restart the seed, right? Like a lot of times exploring a seed is a little bit about finding out where the better parts are to level and this southwestern area has been pretty bad for us so far. It's been slow. What I need to do is allow the uh, caravan hands time to go forward. That was only 55, that's good. I wanted to go there, we took my spot. My weapon is a little bit scary right now. Alright, Caravan Hands, it's time for you guys to step up. Into the breach, Caravan Hands. He's got an arming sword. Oh god, that's gonna hurt so much. We don't have flails. There aren't even flails here. Good stun. Now the question, the problem is the guy has like a billion health. Hey, that's not gonna help anyone. You can't just run away from your problems. He's got a fucking kite shield. Good stun. Good stun. All right, do we ablate Darple here? guy has been incredible in blocking my movements he when he was standing there he blocked this guy from running to that location and now he's there he blocks me from moving to there it's very impressive he's doing a great job of running perfect interference on my team i'm not sure that's our goal it's certainly his goal i don't know what the hell we're ever going to do about an elevated pick with 150 with 110 gear you can get some sweet stuff out of this, this is the type of fight you want to take early just we would have liked it like a little bit less in the raiders and a little bit more in the fucking poachers or, uh, not poachers, the, uh, the other one. Thugs. Yeah, not great for us. Maybe he can soul the archer. Archer is elevated. I give him like a 50 50. I don't have a dagger here. Still doing nothing, huh? You're like the the cowardly one. 
Okay, this guy's only at 90 mil. I think attacking him is fine. I can't leave all my guys out of there, but... Oh, nice stun. Guy's a champ. Thought I had more daggers in this. That fucking arming sword hurt. The sword didn't drop? Come on, he hit once with it. That's so much money in the early game. I have no idea how we're going to deal with this brigand raider. Yeah, the short bow dropped as opposed to the arming arming sword. There's a bit of a difference in quality there. Wasn't that a hunting bow? No, it was a fucking short bow. A sling. That is technically true. Don't want to be underneath him. Oh, I forgot to pick the spear up at the end of all that. God damn it. Confident my ass. All right. I want his gear. How are we gonna get him? His weapon does a lot of armor damage, but we don't have a lot of armor. I think we knock him into the donkeys and see if we can get him to uh, take attacks there. So there's a shield on the ground that we can pick up. Another one there. You little fucker. Totally not acceptable. 
don't need that spear. Do you just recover? Who knew farm hands had recover? Not this guy. Or uh caravan hands. Okay, so he uh Oh no no no. You're not letting him leave. He may kill the entire team, but he's got armor. And it's our armor, and we want it. I didn't drop his dagger. I mean, we did puncture this guy to death, and this was a 115 piece. Oh, it gets done. It's gonna be a very tempting target for this guy if we put him next to him. Shaw had a uh, dagger. Still confidence, a big deal. It'd be very tough to break him. exhausted. Are there diminishing returns in this game? Uh, melee defense has diminishing returns after I think it's 50. Other than that, not really. I mean, certainly in terms of risk versus reward, there's diminishing returns, but... I didn't get the impression that's what you're asking. I want to use this dagger, but there's no fucking way I'm putting him in there right now. Presumably at some point he won't be able to attack and shield wall. This turn. I like how the farmhand isn't doing anything. Or the other guy. Promising. Super promising. and 115 mil, 140 hat. We didn't get the arming sword or the dagger. Picked up another bow as well. Seems like not bad loot, huh?